So I don't usually talk about uh, current events in my videos, but I figure that if we're doing things differently around here from now on, then I should put more of myself uh, into my videos and talk more about things that are really important to me. So uh, in Australia, we just had a nationwide postal survey or plebiscite uh, on the question of marriage equality. And after a 79.5% uh, turnout, we achieved a 61.6% .6 response in favor uh, uh, of the idea that people who are of the same sex should be able to get married. And, uh, you know, I personally, you know, you might not know the background of this plebiscite, uh, but I personally kind of didn't want it to go ahead in the first place. But now that we have the result as a queer person, I just want to say thank you to everyone in Australia who voted uh, in favor of the idea that two people who are in committed, uh, loving relationships should be able to get, you know, married and express that commitment in that particular way, regardless of uh, what happens to be between their legs. Now, I'm not about to go out and get married uh, myself, but uh, this issue has, you know, been very personally affecting for me because to me, this survey has been a, uh, a reflection of society's perceptions of homosexual relationships and, um, this result means that I can one day explain to my niece or my nephew uh, two men or two women can love each other very much uh, without having to also explain that uh, the ways in which they can express that love are restricted by a society that considers their relationship somehow less worthy or somehow unnatural. Or wrong. Now I know that not everyone feels the same way that I do and that homosexual relationships are not everyone's cup of tea and you know that's that's fine. Uh, one of the most powerful, one of the most uh, valuable things that being queer has taught me is that one person's uh, yuck can be another person's yum or put in another way People can arrive at the same issue from completely different backgrounds, with completely different uh, perspectives, different upbringings, uh, different thoughts and feelings, and uh, we should try and seek to understand that because, hey, if I was in the same circumstances, I might feel exactly the same way. I think growing up with a feeling of being different uh, makes you more acutely aware of what difference uh, difference can make. So I, I always try not to be quick to judgment. I always try to seek to understand other people's perspectives. And I'm not always perfect at it, but I think that, you know, in this increasingly kind of polarized world we live in, I hope it's something that we can all try and do. So uh, again, I want to say thank you and um, actually my mom, who voted yes with me, uh, she didn't think that the result would go like this. Uh, she didn't think Australia was ready uh, for this. So she congratulated me this morning. And I want to say uh, the same thing to her and to everyone in Australia. Uh, congratulations, because I think you, you live in a kinder uh, society now. Um, thank you.